Okay, so we have the moon in Aquarius again here all day. However, we are going to see the moon go void, of course, at 6.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But we're not locking into Pisces energy until 2.09 a.m. early Wednesday morning. So quite a chunk of time there that the moon is going to be void. And when the moon is void, things are shaky, things are uncertain, things are unstable. We shouldn't be making any commitments. We shouldn't be making any decisions although the impulse to do so is very much there. Of course, we've gained a lot of aha moments, epiphanies, light bulb moments over the last couple of days with the moon in Aquarius energy. But the minute that the moon goes void, we start questioning everything that we thought we had arrived at. Again, let's not make any rash decisions. Let's not make any rash judgments. That energy is definitely going to stabilize once we move into the Pisces energy and we get a lot of intuitive downloads to validate and confirm for us that the hunch that we have, that we've been on, is definitely something for us to do, for us to pursue. So with that being said, there are 11 different aspects taking place here today. 10 of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Aquarius energy, helping us to emotionally detach from our circumstances to see the greater, grander vision on why certain things had to happen, where it is that we're going from here. The moon is going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Neptune at the final degrees of his placement of power here in the Pisces energy. This is highly significant that we're leaning a little bit too much into our intellect too much into our thoughts from our egoic programming from our physical realm and not leaning enough into our intuition into our heart space neptune and pisces of course is our soul is our spirit is our higher self it is the creative force energy providing us with a lot of the solutions that we're coming up with there he these days however the aquarius energy acting as the observer really pushing the limits of our mental plane again has us a little bit more rooted in the actual factual materialistic realm than trusting the guidance the validation the confirmation that we're receiving on this new path in this new direction so we're really questioning whether or not Again, intellectually speaking, things may be making sense, but yet we haven't really allowed our higher self, our intuition to chime in on some of the things that we've already arrived at. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this cancer energy. Again, trying to get to the root of the matter on what makes her happy, what makes her feel safe and secure, especially in regards to relationship dynamics. The moon interacting with Venus in this way is definitely illuminating new wants, new needs, new desires, especially for independence, especially for freedom. Yes, we value connection. Yes, we value the relationship dynamics that we have in our current circumstance, but they're also a little bit confining. We're holding on for dear life onto a situation, a circumstance that is no longer meant for us. And this new liberation, this new independence, this new uh, I'm going to say freedom, definitely helping us to shape our relationship dynamics, where it is that we need to let go, where it is that we need to wander off on our own and really discover what it is that we want to build, we want to create, we want to bring to life from here. The moon is then going to make a very tough interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves also in this Cancer energy. So this is very indicative that our heart and our head not on the same page. And that's okay, especially if we just had some pop-offs, realizations on what it is that we're not getting, what it is that we need in our lives. Our heart is going to tell us to do one thing that is very intellectually based, seeing as we are in this Aquarius energy. But Mercury, on the other hand, we're blending our intellect with our intuition and something just isn't feeling right. We don't know what it is, but something is off. We can't put our finger on it. This is definitely going to put us in a situation where we're feeling a lot more confused than we actually are. There's just this, I'm going to call it delusionment around some of the aha moments in which we've previously had over the last couple of days. And because of that, we're not thinking clearly. We're not communicating clearly. We could definitely open up the door for misunderstandings and miscommunications if we're not careful. But realistically, right now, our heart thinks one thing our head is very much 
thinking something else. The moon is then going to make a beautiful interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. Saturn is in Pisces energy, trying to wrap up a 30-year cycle, trying to deconstruct the old ways of living, the old ways of building, creating the old ways of kind of manifesting from the old programming of the old version of self. This particular interaction kind of grounds us out, gives us a little bit of a reality check, not in a harsh way, but just in a, yep, this is what I was thinking. Yep, this is what I felt. This is a validation, a confirmation of some of the things that we've already arrived at over the last couple of days, especially stemming from that full moon in Capricorn that Saturn had his rulership over. This is putting us in a situation to understand where it is that we're changing our dream. We're changing our vision. Why? Because so much has happened to us that we've had no choice. We're a new version of self. We have new wants, needs, and desires. We have a new soul mission, new potential for us to be reaching. And although we kind of knew that this was the path that we were on, there should be some sort of solid synchronicity, solid validation or confirmation coming at you to really kind of drive home that whatever it is that you've been thinking about building, creating, pursuing, this is something that is getting triggered and activated in order for you to realize that you're on the right path. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with the sun in cancer energy. Again, when the moon and the sun come together in any kind of interaction, there is going to be an aha moment on emotionally what it is that we want, what we need, what we desire. Now, the moon in Aquarius energy, again, has us emotionally detached in order to see, again, the inner workings of our circumstance at this particular point in time. The sun, however, in Cancer energy has us overly attached to trying to keep things the same. And so, again, a little bit of tension, a little bit of friction. The moon, emotionally speaking, wants us to think about the future, while the sun, our life force energy, has us a little bit more connected and attached to the past than we would prefer. But either way, the distance between where it is that we're at and where it is that we desire to be will become a little bit more clear. And from that, we can come up with some creative solutions to take a step by step approach on how it is that we're going to get from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. Spoiler alert, it is going to require us to let go of a lot of people, places and things, a lot of perspectives, understandings and emotions that, of course, are outdated and very much keeping us stuck in the past. The moon is then going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. This is a beautiful interaction because it's illuminating the challenges that we've been in and the amount of growth that we've been able to really step into because of our ability to see now that tough love life lessons aren't meant to punish us, they're meant to push us in the direction that aligns us with our higher self. The Chiron energy is this wounded healer, but this is a positive interaction. So we're leaning into the healing part. We're seeing the growth. We're seeing our ability to see things from a different set of eyes. And therefore we see ourselves from a different set of eyes and the strength, the pride, the let's call it just celebration of this new version of self is very much being seen, felt, and heard. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this cancer energy going to semi-square Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. Now, this is definitely going to stir us up in some not so nice ways. We're going to get restless. We're going to get ants in our pants. Suddenly, we are very unsatisfied, very discontent with our current circumstances, especially where relationship dynamics and financial matters are concerned. But as uncomfortable as, you know, having ants in the pants may be, it is illuminating for us what it is that we actually want to jump into, what we're anxiously anticipating being able to actually begin. So, you know, we're learning, albeit the very low, slow, steady, hard way that sometimes we need to use these not so nice thoughts, these not so nice emotions as the key to the clarity that we are feeling like we're lacking. And so when you have ants in your pants and you actually want to do something different, that should be a good indicator on what it is that you're excited and inspired and motivated and determined to actually jump into. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mercury. So we are on the same page this point in the day. 
3.15 p.m. The moon in Aquarius energy has us very focused on the future, on what it is that we need to do to break free from some of the challenges, obstacles, situations, and circumstances of this present moment. Mercury, again, in this Cancer energy, blending our intellect with our intuition. We have a gut feeling right now that guess what? We do need to let go of the past. We do need to close the door on certain aspects of our life that we thought we would be living at this present moment in time. But we realize what's good for us. We realize now that letting go of the past and opening ourselves up to new ways of doing things, new ways of seeing the world around us, new ways of communicating our wants, needs, and desires, actually shifting us into a, let's call it mental perspective, to see where it is that making these changes are actually going to create a stronger, more safe, more stable emotional realm for us to be operating in. So our heart and our head, they're working together to try and get this visual together in our inner realm so that we can start working towards what we want to build and create. We're also kind of understanding our emotional needs a little bit better than we did earlier on in the day. And we're definitely able to articulate our thoughts, our ideas, our emotions a little bit better. So if you find yourself in a conversation where our heart to heart is needed, we're definitely in the right flow of energy to be seen, to be heard, to be well received. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring and square off with Uranus. This isn't going to feel good. This is going to highlight where it is that there's this streak of stubbornness just holding on for dear life within us. Where it is that we're frustrated, we're agitated, there's a sense of wanting to kind of fight back and rebel against anything or anyone that is trying to keep us caged in. We very much value our independence, our freedom at this particular juncture, and we're realizing the relationship dynamics, the constructs, the roles, the responsibilities, the, the commitments, the obligations that we are involved in that aren't allowing us to do what we need to be doing for ourselves. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. This is going to put us in a different situation, a different perspective to see things from a different set of eyes. This is the point in time where the moon is void. So things aren't as solid, aren't as stable, aren't as sure as we wanted them to be or as we felt that they were before the moon went void. Now we're starting to question everything. What we're questioning with this particular aspect is the people in our lives, the relationship dynamics that we're choosing to pour into and cultivate, whether or not they are giving us what it is that we need, what it is that we want, what it is that we desire. And in some cases, this is going to be the realization to kind of create more time, more space, distance in between some of the relationship dynamics that are just not encouraging and supporting us in the way that we need in this very difficult time of transition. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Aquarius energy, void of course, semi-squaring, creating a little bit of tension with that North Node in Aries energy, that North Node trying to get us on the right path, trying to show us where it is that we need to be more independent where it is that we need to stop with these codependent relationships and bust away in order to pursue a path that is meant solely for us. This semi-square is going to highlight where it is that we're a little bit confused on how it is that we're going to move forward from this present moment, but we're losing sight of the greater, grander vision that was very solid for us over the last couple of days. Again, this is when the moon is void. We want to understand that this is going to pass, that we are going to feel a little bit more safe and secure and sure and certain of some of the things that now we're questioning once we kind of wake up Wednesday morning. But this particular juncture is going to show us where it is that we're losing sight, we're losing vision, we're losing the confidence within ourselves, we're losing the clarity that we had, and that in turn is creating a lot more confusion than there actually needs to be.